Good morning my dear children. Today I am going to teach you subtraction. Now that is a very new topic for you but it is also very much interesting. Now you listen and watch this video carefully how I teach you about subtraction. Now before we go for the sums we need to know what is subtraction. Now children what is subtraction? Subtraction means when we take away things and the things become less that is subtraction. Taking away things. Now in addition you have learnt that when you add things become more and it is just the opposite of addition that is subtraction when we subtract things become less subtraction is nothing but taking away things take away subtraction is take away and we put this sign for subtraction this is the minus sign always we use this sign for subtraction now what is take away I will teach you first then I will go to the sums suppose see I have five fingers so five fingers now I close my two fingers one two so here how many fingers are there open fingers one two three so this is subtraction see five fingers I close my two fingers then the fingers that are opened are less. It became less. From 5 it becomes 3. 1, 2, 3. So 5 minus 2 because I have closed my 2 fingers. 5 minus 2. 1, 2. 5 minus 2. So my open fingers become less. There are only 3 fingers that is open. 1, Two, three. So when you take away things that is subtraction. Now suppose I will teach you in another way. You see. See here. Look here. Think this as your board. Blackboard. Now see. Suppose I have a flower plant and There are three flowers in my garden, in the flower plant. There are how many flowers? One, two, three. There are three flowers. Now from this out of three flowers, I pluck two flowers. I take away two flowers. I pluck this flower and I pluck this flower plucking means from the plant or from the tree when you take it out that is pluck. So I plucked two flowers from my garden. There were three flowers in my garden. I plucked two flowers. So how many left? One flower is left. So before it was more and now after I plucked after I plucked two flowers how many flowers left? Only one flower left. That means how many are there? Three. Total three flowers. I take away. This is take away sign. That is the this is this sign means take away when I am taking something. So total number of flowers three. I take away two flowers. And only one flower is left. So this is our answer. 3 minus 2 is equal to 1. You have. Suppose you have. 5 pencils with you. Right. 1. 2, 3, 4, 
five pencils. You have five pencils with you. And your friend, your best friend asks for th three pencils from you. So you want to give three pencils to your best friend. You have given this pencil, this one and this one. One, two, three you have given. So for you how many pencils left? Two pencils left. So see first it is five here. One, two, three, four, five more. But after you gave it to your friend, your pencils have become less. So always remember children, whenever you subtract, things will become less. Keep it in your mind. Now let us do the subtraction. Now, I'll teach you before we go for subtraction, let me teach you something. Now you see here, 85 minus 53. Keep one thing in mind. Whenever you do subtraction, the number which is more will be on top and the number which is less will be below. That means you have seen no the largest number and the smallest number. You know large and small number. The large number is always on top for subtraction and the small number below. This is the rule. You cannot put 3 up and 5 down. So this is the rule. The large number will be on top. See the 85 is more than 53. So 85 on top, 53 below. Same thing here. 76 is more than 22. The number which is more will be on top. The number which is less will be here below. 39 is more. 13 is less. 48 is more. 10 is less. So this is how we arrange our subtraction. Now, let's come to the sum. How to subtract? Here also you have two columns. T for tens. O for ones. And as I taught you in addition, same way in subtraction, we always start from the ones column. Never start from the tens column. This is wrong. For addition and for subtraction, you will start from the ones column. Now, on top you have 5, below you have 3. Now how to do the subtraction? Now watch carefully. You have to do it with, with the help of your hand, fingers. You have lines in your fingers, no? Each finger has 4 lines with the help of your fingers. Now this is 3. Now when we do subtraction, we start from below. This is 3. So after 3, what comes after 3? 3 is already written so we will not count 3. We will count the next number that is the after number of 3. And we count till we reach 5. See after 3 comes 4, 5. Why up to 5? Because on top you have the number 5. So after 3 we start from 4, 4, 5. Now you tell me how many lines? 1 line, 2 line. So we write here. Now come to this side. From the bottom we start. This is 5 below and 8 on top. So we will start counting after 5 till we reach 8. After 5, 6, 7, 8. So how many lines here? 1, 2, 3 lines. So we write here 3. So our answer is? 32. Now let us come to the next sum. 76 minus 22. So see here I told you we will start from the bottom. Never start from top. Your sum will become wrong. In addition you can start from any where you like from, from the top or from bottom. But for subtraction always start from the bottom. One column from the bottom from below. Now here we have 2 on top we have 6. That means 6 minus 2. We have 6 things and we are taking away 2 things. So 2 is already written. We will not count 2 anymore. After 2 we start counting after 2 till we reach 6. After 2 is? How much is after 2? Yes 3. So 3, 
four, five, six. Now you have to count the lines. How many lines? One, two, one, two, three, four lines. So we write here four. Now come to this side. Seven minus two. So after two, three, four, five, six, seven. How many lines? One, two, three, four, five. So we write here five. And our answer is fifty. Four. Now let us come to the next sum. Thirty-nine minus thirteen. Same way. We start from one column. We start from the number that is here below. This is three. After three, we start counting till we reach nine. Why nine? Because on top we have nine. We have to come to nine. So after three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So how many lines? One, two, three, four, five, six lines. So you have to count the lines. Right here, six. Now, three minus one. After one, we count till we come to three. After one, two, three, two lines. That's so we write here two. And what is our answer then? Our answer is twenty-six. Now the next sum. Now see, this sum is little different. You have to understand it very carefully, children. See, the, in this sum, eight minus zero is written. Now, what is the value of zero? You know, I told you in the class. We have taught you zero means nothing. Zero means nothing. Keep it in your mind. Zero means nothing. Now see. Suppose let me give you an example. Again with my fingers. I have five fingers. I fold zero finger. That means nothing I am folding. So what will be the answer? Five is same. Five remains same. See here. One more example let me give you. I have... I have balls with me. Hmm, these are balls. I have balls. Now let us count how many balls. One, two, three. So I have three balls with me, and my friend asked me to give one ball, but I have not given. No balls are given. I have three balls. I have not given any balls to anyone. So, I have three balls. I take away zero. Not given any ball means what? Zero. Zero means nothing. I have given nothing to anyone. Three balls was with me, and now also I am having three balls. That is three minus zero. So. How many balls are left? One, two, three. The same number will be there because I have not given any ball. So, whenever you minus zero from some number, whenever you minus zero from any number, the same number remains. Three minus zero, this same number remains. That is zero. Children, have you understood? So here, see the same thing. Eight minus zero means. You think of something. Suppose you have eight balloons with you, and you have given zero balloon. Zero balloon means you have not given anything. Nothing you have given to anyone. So you are having eight. You have not given anything. That is, you have given zero. Zero means nothing. So you have not given anything. So eight minus zero is the same. It will remain as eight. Any number minus zero, the same number remains. Now come to the tenth side. This is one, and on top we have four. So we have to count. After one comes two. From two we will count till four. Not more than that. After one, two, three, four. So how many lines are there? Three lines. So we write here three. And our answer is 
38. So my dear children, this is my request. Please go through this video. Watch this video again and again and again. You will be able to understand subtraction nicely. No hurry. Take your time. Try to understand with pictures also. You can draw pictures not in the school copy but in your home copy. You can draw pictures and you can take away things so that it becomes more clear to you. I hope you have understood what is subtraction. So that's all for today children. First you watch the video and then I'll give you this verb. You will copy this in your classwork copy. Thank you children.